Dear Bukit Batok residents, mental wellness is increasingly an issue in our community. Not too long ago, I received an email from a resident. She informed me that urine was being thrown from a height and it splattered on her hall window. Naturally, this caused huge concern on her part as well as that of her family members. I sought assistance from our community volunteers, officers from NEA, as well as the police. Through their efforts, I found out that the person who was throwing urine was an elderly 80 plus year old gentleman who unfortunately was suffering from dementia. He can't remember what he did beyond 10 minutes. He had a urine container in his bedroom and when it was filled, he was tempted to throw the urine out of his window. When we brought this matter to the attention of his caregiver, his daughter, she was terribly upset. She immediately took steps to ensure that this would never happen again. But she needs to be supported. Four years ago, I set up the Green Ribbon Task Force aimed at supporting caregivers of families with members with mental challenges. We've organised causes for them. We formed peer support groups for them. We can do more. I learned that participants are more comfortable to be in courses with people sharing their same cultural background. A few weeks ago, we had our first course in Mandarin. We will do so in Malay and Tamil as well. We in Bukit Bato are one community. We need to better understand families with members who are mentally challenged. We need to provide more support for the caregivers of such members. As you can imagine, these families undergo so much stress. They need to continue to feel welcome. So with your support, let's ensure that Bukit Bato remains as one. Thank you.